Welcome back. I'm Zerfo. I'm Grimgore. And we are playing Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. Still. Still, yes. Still, we're only on day two so far. And we're about to head to the Voodoo Museum. I don't know how well you guys are going to actually hear the music because we're recording in a different fashion, but now we won't have lag. Anyways, we're here to talk to Dr. John. Does he have green eyebrows? I think it's just the uh, the pixels. Oh, maybe. All right, so let's chat with this dude. Could I ask you some questions? He's like, nope, not here. Can't help you. Well, that's actually why he's here. Yeah, his eyebrows are not green at all. All right, let's start with some voodoo. Let's see if he knows his stuff. Can you tell me anything about voodoo? Historical voodoo? Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city? I'd say historical. Just because. We gotta start somewhere. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. Very well. I will start at the beginning, Mr. Exactly. Knight, and I will go on from there. I drew a prompting. But why not just tell me everything? Come on. <laughs> because it's just like... Oh, as you know, voodoo is a grassroots religion formed from the mixing together of different African tribal religions and Anglo religions, such as Catholicism or Protestantism. In other words, it's a religion born of the African slave trade. But, but African slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also the West Indies, where the French and Spanish ran plantation islands. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. This is an awesome trick. Um, if people want to read all this text, they can pause the video. And we'll give them a couple seconds to pause it and then click on. I know. We don't want to tax your reading skills too much. It's just, it takes forever to read. This way we can click through it. So just... Oh, we can click through it. Wow. Yeah, so pause it if you want to read that because there's going to be a lot of stuff on historical voodoo here. Well, I'll give them another chance and ask about historical voodoo. Well, just make sure you wait a second so they can pause well. You know, if this was actually happening, it'd just be like, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. Hey, wait, t wait, tell me that thing you just told me. <laughs> no, too bored, not listening, not listening. Ooh, great zombie. That's probably important. The problem is, is that this game has a lot of the, you have to read the background story to get that one vital piece of information at the end of a long chain of clicking through stuff. No, this game has a lot of issues, you know, with your assistant. You had to ask so many times to get the proper messages to move forward, and it seems to be happening again. Well, that's just how they that's how they roll in New Orleans. You go to talk to somebody, you're like, hey, what's the weather forecast for tomorrow? And they're like, there will oh. be weather. We got points. See? And, and it's lit up. New talking point. I just like to think that, uh, you know, as he's giving this history lesson, Gabriel Knight just has ADD. <laughs> he's, he's just looking like, at plastic bags oh, in the snake. Oh, you oh. have a snake here. So, uh, I believe we, uh, I should have pet snake. We gotta learn more about this girl, because, well. Can we have class outside? <laughs> There's just a lot, there's a lot of text in this game. It'd be nice if it wasn't all like the exact same topic. They just kind of got to the point. Some of the conversations are fun. Anyways. There we go. So we just found out where she's buried, which is near Gabriel's parents. Um, and then, actually, let's talk about current Voodoo 2 in case the murders are more to do with that. Oh, they still think of it in terms of magic spell. Or Called hoodoo. Gris gris. <laughs> ah. um, oh, there's a lot of churches growing. 
And there are apparently more whites than you'd expect because it's exotic and erotic. That's just white people for you. <laughs> it's one of those stuff white people like. Like jazz music. Ah, uh, hoodoo. It's that hoodoo that you do that has nothing to do with true voodoo. Oh, that's a voodooians? Voodooians? How would you pronounce that, Adam? Voodooian? Yep, no, close enough. <laughs> Anyways, that's an awesome name. But we're getting the name of someone new, too. Daphne? Great! She sounds like she has tits! Hey, more points! Alright, so we've got two <laughs> new places we can go now. Well, one of them's not too new, but... That guy's wailing on that drum. The door's already open, man. You can't door that door. I'm dooring the door. Okay, I'm booting the door. So we are going to head to the St. Louis Cemetery now to check out that lady's grave. Also, we... Because that's we a, what normal people do. Um... It is. We're also going to visit our parents. I would In think. the cemetery? Spoilers. They're buried here. We learned that from our grandma. What? Oh. So again, I wasn't paying attention. Check out those crazy symbols. We've been to this graveyard before. We we were here before we realized we didn't have to be here. So there's some sort of crazy markings, reddish in color. It looks like they've been here a few days at least. I think that it's some sort of uh, scripty thing. You just can't take it. What you gotta do is, uh, uh, try. Oh, hey, I got a candle or something. See, kids, that's what oh, you need to like do. Oh, it's like a piece of weird red chalk wax stuff. That, you can't use that on itself. That's what you need to do, kids. Just uh, pick up whatever you need. Anyways, grab the sketchbook because we've got more voodoo markings on this. Oh, you have to actually... This is where the engine of this game is weird. You have to actually click on the up arrow. And then click on it. And then click on play. It's really, really user-friendly. Points! I need to say this out loud in case that man wonders why I'm drawn in a cemetery. Willie hears you. Willie don't care. So, I think our parents are on the next screen over. We wanna. We don't wanna sketch that. We should sketch whatever we tell them to sketch. No. Oh, I guess it's uh. Right instead of night. What's going on there? Is that his mom's maiden name or something? I think he's just making stuff up. There we go. Talk How's to him. How's it going, Granddaddy? Oh, not too bad. Let's question them. Oh, that man. That he's dude. just freaked out. Do you know what I also remembered when I was doing the test video with this new recording feature? If we want to, we can turn up the game speed so people walk faster. Oh, that might be useful. Okay, what do we do next? Um... I guess let's go talk to that other lady he mentioned. She knows about voodoo these days. And doesn't mess with that hoodoo. He was about to take a break, but he saw someone looking at him. 